going to get started by making some soap souffle. Now, you're going to need some soap. Not hand soap, but bar soap, like this. Now, not all soap is equal, and you can actually tell the difference by dropping it into a bowl of water. So, look, here's our bowl of water. Here's one bar of soap, uh, just as you would think. Here's another bar of soap. Ah, see the difference? Look at this. This soap floats. This soap sinks. What's the difference? Well, it's ivory. Ivory is the soap that floats. Why? Because there's little pockets of air inside. So here's our ivory soap, and let me cut it up. Let's see if you can actually see any of the little pockets of air inside. Ah, you can see a little something here. Take a look at this. Little tiny pockets of air. We're gonna use that because we need to cook this. You see, a microwave works by cooking the moisture that's in the food. And in this particular case, there's a little bit of moisture in the soap. So, time for the microwave. All right, so this is over here, goes into the microwave. And uh, let's set it for two minutes. Go. Now, as it's going around and around, the microwave is heating those water molecules, and those water molecules are moving back and forth, creating friction, and then all of a sudden, those little pockets of air start to get hot. Uh, there it goes. You know what happens when pockets of air get hot? Those molecules of air start to puff up. When it stops expanding, that's when you need to stop. Souffle is done. All right. Be very, oh, look at this. Isn't this great? Look. Now, we had a little bit spill off to the side, but it's fine. It's soap. The thing that you have to be careful of is just make sure that the plate is not hot when you reach in and take it out. And don't touch the soap immediately. Oh, look at this. Here it is. Look, this is our souffle. Now, you would think that it's going to crush in your hands, but look at this. As you pick it up like this, it doesn't crush really at all. It holds its rigidity. You can see the puffiness that's inside where the soap expanded. And you didn't waste the soap. No, oh, no. You take this right to the shower. You substitute the other soap there for this soap here. And the family is going to know that you've been watching DIY Sigh.